as I discussed in the first video, part one, the seats were something that we definitely were going to replace, so we ordered the Cloud 9 seats. These seats aren't bad, but they, they don't have enough cushion for the wife and I, so we decided to go with the Cloud 9s. The Cloud 9 seat gives us a lot more support that we needed. These seats got a lot of cushion on them. They have gel cushion, very comfortable. My wife's bike is the one that I put the suspension post on. The brand is Zoom and uh, it's adjustable. Pull this out of here. This is a Zoom seat post sold by Zoom. It has adjustment on the bottom so you can set it to different weights. This is the seat size. This is the size post I bought for the XP. You do need to measure and make sure that it fits accordingly. I think the diameters of the of these are all the same, but I don't want to be responsible for telling you the wrong thing. So please measure it so you get the right right post. Okay, this is a zoom. Zoom post. One thing I will tell you, my wife is uh, it's about 5'4". The post does add two inches to the height of the seat. Another item I got for my wife and I is this extension bar. This uh, gives you more spaces um, to connect things, accessories, to your handle bar, because the handle bar is short. You don't have a lot of a lot of areas to, to hook things to. And we wanted to use a cell, this is our cell phone holder, which is probably not the best one out there, but it, it works for us and it was cheap. A cell phone holder, we got at Walmart, about three or $4, dollars wasn't very much. This holder does hold your phone in place very well and it's inexpensive and it, it does a job and to get it off you just grab it pull your take your thumb and push one to the side it just pops right out and of course the finishing touch that my wife had to add to her bike was this right here she had to have this bell we also got this at a bike shop the next thing I added was the alarm system for the bikes. I have it mounted in front of my rear tail light on the XP. It secures very easily to the back and gives it somewhat of a hiding place so it's not exposed so people don't see it. Comes with a fob, an arming fob that allows you to arm, arm it by pushing a button. That tone says the bike is, the bike is now armed. If someone goes up to the bike after it is armed and tries to move it, it will set off a warning alarm. If it's moved again within that period, short period, the alarm will go off. You must push this button here to disarm it. That disarms the bike. This worked great. You also have panic and buttons that you can warn folks that's coming up to it. You can warn people to stay away from your bike by pushing these button, this button here. That gives them a warning. You get two of these in a set. 
I got one for my bike and my wife's bike. They work very well. The next thing I'd like to review that my myself and my wife, uh, we ordered, was these Senna bike helmets. We did a lot of reviews on them, and uh, they had everything we needed, and we felt they would do the job, and so far they they work very well. We're very pleased with these. They have Bluetooth, uh, they connect um, to your phone by Bluetooth, and they also have an intercom feature that connects these helmets for these up together, so when you turn them on, they automatically connect, and you can talk uh, intercom back and forth, uh, and the the reception is great. The microphone here is here in the front. The earpiece is here or right over the both ears. So when you're talking to the other person, it works great. It's very clear, very easy to understand. It also has an FM radio built in that you can set presets for, and then you can toggle between them by hitting hitting your your arrows. The instruction manual that comes with it is very clear, and there are some YouTubes from Senna that gives you a complete overview on how to use the helmets and, and um, set them up and all that. So there's good documentation online with Senna. These helmets are ordered by size, so make sure you, you measure your head size and order correctly. The charging port is here in the back. Here's your charging port in the back of the helmet. Little rubber, little rubber cover over it. The helmets all also come with a great carrying bag from Senna. And these bags, um, they protect, these bags protect your helmet. And usually when I get done with the ride, I'll put my helmet in the bag and hang it, hang it up on my handlebars here. And then it always stays with the bike. The next things I'd like to discuss is the mirror. Now I bought this mirror from a local bike um, company here in town. Uh, probably paid a little more than I should have. I think this mirror was 16 bucks. Probably get it on Amazon for probably five dollars less at least or more. But this is the type of mirror you will need. It mounts inside the uh, handlebar and it, it does work. It's easy to adjust and it tilts and everything and and uh, easy to mount and so far it's working out good we haven't rotated the bikes a lot yet but it does seem to do the trick also added these padded hand grips gives it a lot of cushion Probably hear the wind in the background. We've got a very windy, cold day here in Tennessee. So, but these uh, these cushion grips, very, comf very comfortable on your hand. There's several videos online how to remove these grips. Uh, this grip here was the hardest one to remove. It's it's very rigid, so we did we 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 definitely changed the wanted to change these to get a little softer feel. This longer grip here was easier to remove off the other side, and there's a couple ways you can do it. I learned this one off of YouTube from Jeremiah. He's got Macintosh. He's got some good good uh, tips. Definitely would advise you to watch some of his videos. Adding air, putting air into this this inside, into this grip hole right here, and covering the other side up with your finger and applying air in here will blow this one off. This side was not quite as easy, but if you wrap a rag around this grip with a pair of channel locks and work it back and forth and gradually move it out, you can work it off the bike. Air may work for you on this also, but it didn't work for me. This is a bike mount I bought to uh, use in my XP, and it allows me to, to I can remove it, and it, it um, 
It comes with two of these brackets right here. These brackets mount a couple different places, wherever you want to put it. Loosen this arm right here. This allows you to, to turn it however you want it. And the orientation you need. And then when you have it where you want it, you just lock it down. Okay. And this arm here, of course, secures your bike. Thanks for watching. I have a lot more videos to come. Give me a like and please subscribe.